this is fascinating for me too, to watch as a screenwriter, some of your writing being produced. about when you know your script was taken and really gone through the ringer of 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 the the production process yeah i got brought onto a gig to fix a a feature that was shooting in like three days mm -hmm. and i had to fix everything so i had to go yeah. through and 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 change everything so it was two 15 hour days of writing straight to fix the whole script i mean i did i had to redo everything the the script went through seven different writers um before me and it was insane i actually ended up getting tinnitus <laughs> after because oh. I, I was up for so long so i couldn't hear out of my right ear for like a week um so i so i fixed the script sent it to them um uh, you know all that stuff was done um they loved it and then used like a third of everything i did <laughs> i was just I like see. that's like yeah. super frustrating um you know, but whatever. I I had I had done uh I had I had elevated the script, and then I think they were just locked in on specific scenes that they wanted or had to do, and and so that was it. Other moments I've had where I um I I wrote specific dialogue. See, the thing is, like when you when you write something, you can you can attest to this. When you write something, you hear in your brain how how it's going to be read by the by yes. the actor and then but that's not fair to the actor because the actor is going to bring their whatever particular choices they make to read that line so you you you're watching it and then you're like okay here comes this line i love and then they say the line and like God, that's not how i heard it it's <laughs> so so it's it's like you don't want to criticize anybody because they need to make mm -hmm. their creative choices but at the same time a, a little bit of yourself is probably disappointed because you have built up this incredible moment in your mind, like, oh, this is going to be so, so exciting. And then it's like, oh. I was always so interested in that because, you know, as I was growing up through the industry, the indie industry, climbing those really low rungs, I, I was always, I always considered myself an actor first. And to be honest, in the very beginning, I was working with a lot of writer directors because the the best resource a writer had to find a director was themselves like right. that only made sense yeah, for them yeah. to do as many hats as possible so i was always very curious you know the the average experience of, that a screenwriter would take would have watching their own material being performed because there's so much mediation between the actual document or even your intention that was in the document and the way that things were written to like through the production process, through the rewrites, through the director, then finally through the yeah. through the actor, and then finally through the editing process when it comes out. So, do you have any advice for maybe some screenwriters that are getting some of their material produced for the first time? How to kind of settle with that idea that yeah. their their stuff will be going through a long process of deviation it's it's like a distillation process really yeah like you, isn't it mm -hmm. you know you like you write it and then it's going to be filtered several times through several different people a couple of things come to mind um like i i i'm there's a quote um and i like i like this quote for the fact that it it shows what screenwriting is screenwriting he's the screen they say screenwriting is is not an art as an invitation to create art mm, okay. and i think that's interesting i agree with it mostly but i do think screenwriting is an art on its own but it is an invitation to say hey let's make this project together so and so thinking that way thinking of it as an invitation that means that this thing is not set in stone. We are inviting other people to include their voices in this screenplay. So you need to know going into any kind of a gig or even a spec that you sell is this thing is going to change. You are not selling or optioning the final draft of this script. Mm -hmm. It's actually best to think about the fact that if you option a script or you get brought on for a, for a project and you provide a script, Think of it as the first draft. Really, that's the the best way to think of it. Mm -hmm. um, 
because the director is going to want to have his voice in it. He's going to want to change things. A producer might, an actor might, you know, and then by the time it hits editing, it's going to be completely different anyway. So understand going into the process that it is going to change. You, you don't want to be so linear in your thinking that you're fighting everybody, fighting every change, because then you become known as the difficult screenwriter. <laughs>